what's some of the low hanging fruit? What can I do to begin to enhance my mitochondria, be it from something as simple as stepping out in the sun or going to the store, the vitamin shop, the GNC and getting something as simple as CoQ10, which all of our grandparents take? Like what's yeah. the easiest way to segue in and what do these things do? So I think the easiest way to segue in is obviously grounding and sun exposure. So grounding just electron donation to the body. So again, we eat fruits to donate electrons. That's just the basic electron transport chain. The electrons produce ATP. Standing outside barefoot, just electron donation on top of having the pores of your feet, the biggest pores in your body. So pulling out a lot of metabolites and basically toxins through the feet. I hate saying the word toxins because then you kind of get like that woo-woo look, but any kind of damaged proteins, inflammatory effects comes through the feet. So ground, five, 10 minutes a day, cheap, easy. Don't cost you anything. Walks outside getting sun exposure. We're in this world, in this environment where everything's blue light overexposure. It's not that blue light's bad, but it's the overexposure and imbalance of full spectrum and near infrared. So the simple walks outside are going to do a lot of cool things in terms of activating your intracellular systems. Your mitochondria will hold, it'll trap on to that near infrared light, and it'll literally hold on to it. It'll uncouple later on. If you do like your cold plunge, that, that shivering effect, that cold effect will actually spontaneously uncouple and release the near infrared light in your system. So you can literally trap energy light and hold it on for later. So walk outside. Doesn't cost you anything. And you can do that right now. Um, I think after that, the basics of, uh, if we look at like the over-the-counter supplements, I really like the algaes, spruine and chlorella. Again, if we go back to how mitochondria developed way back in the day from algae, so noon, 2 p.m. in the day, Back whenever ever just algae just floated on the Earth's surface, on the ocean, we weren't even humans yet. We started as bacteria. It was literally driving that whole mitochondrial biogenic process to try, cause algae to then literally biotransform into mitochondria to then go through all of the years and years and years to then develop humans. So spruvine and Corolla Energy Bits, my favorite product, you're, it's with, found within the mitochondria. And I like to think about it as like your mitochondrial fuel. It doesn't actually work that way, but those drive the basic aspects of mitochondrial function. 